versus this is Paladin of Oath, and this is some community gathering online. This is another episode of the standard commentary series. And it looks like Mono Green Ramp, the uh, Red Green, versus maybe Celestia Aggro, or maybe it's Naya Aggro. But uh, currently, the Aggro deck has Sylvan Advocate and Nyssa. Four lands in play, so into combat, he's attacking in for four. No response from Ramp. He takes the four and goes down to 14. Second main phase. Fury Harbinger. Now, she was a Planeswalker that I honestly wasn't sure that we would see a whole lot of in Standard. Mainly because her ultimate is kind of useless. Though, her first two abilities can be incredibly powerful. You know, uh, possible card draw, or, you know, if you just want to plus two, make her loyalty go up so that she's more resilient, and to give you more ammo so that you can use her minus two ability more often. End of turn, positives return, goes off Nissa Vastwood Seer. But exiling target enchantment, tapped artifact, or tapped creature can be very powerful. You know, the only problem is the whole tapped part of artifact and creature usually means that they've attacked you, which means that they've already done their damage, they've already gone through combat, and it's your turn again, so then you take care of the problem after it's smacked you in the face. But, you know, against like a ramp deck, for example, they might only have one threat at a time, which Nihiri would be able to handle quite well. Now, since rotation happened, honestly, I don't think there's a whole lot that happened to ramp. I mean, they did lose Ugin, but honestly, I don't think... I don't think that that's going to affect them a whole lot, because while Ugin was a big gun, Ramp is kind of a deck of big guns. And there's another one, Dragonlord of Tarka. Five damage, like three damage to Sylvan Advocate, and two to Nahiri. Since you're one damage short of being able to get rid of both of the Advocates... But like I was saying, you know, Ugin was a big gun, no question. But Ramp is a deck filled with big guns, so, you know, they'll make up for it. He had he had some abilities that were answers to problems, you know, really good answers to problems. Oh, Lightning Axe. Which, uh, <laughs> that works out really well. Lightning Axe discard a card so that you can play Fiery Temper for its madness cost. And that's a total of 8 damage straight out for a cost of 2 red mana. 2 red mana kills Dragonlord Atarka. But back to what I was saying about Ugin. You know, his first two abilities were very powerful, and they were unique answers to a lot of problems, especially his uh, minus ability. But I don't think not having him is going to be that big of a deal for ramp decks. Now, other than that, post rotation, about the only thing that I can think of that they might incorporate in their decks now is uh, Traverse the Ulven Wall. Since it's a land search for one, and then later on, it can search up a creature, which sometimes Ramp has a really hard time with. And it would be really nice to be able to go, oh, one green mana, I'm going to search up my big bomb, and now I'm going to play him, because it only costs one green mana to find him. But, uh, World Breaker for seven... Exiled Needle Spires. And he's 
sacrificed one of the Sanctums to go get Ulamog, and he used Kozilek's Return ability to uh, do 5 damage to all the creatures, which killed off the other Sylvan Advocate. So now the board is clear, and it's just his 5-7 reach versus uh, Nahiri, who can't touch him at the moment. But another new card, Declaration in Stone, that does get rid of Worldbreaker. And minus eight, he kills off Nahiri to grab Dragonlord Atarka. Who has haste, thanks to Nahiri, and that's game. You know, I wasn't expecting that uh, Nahiri was going to be all that helpful. Uh, well, her ultimate to be all that helpful, but that was a, uh, a killing blow thanks to Nahiri's ultimate ability. Okay, turn two Oath of Nyssa from... I think I'll call them Naya Aggro for now, because it does look like he's actually playing all three colors. So, Oath of Nyssa. What is he going to find? He finds a forest. Not very exciting. But, then again, it gets that land off the top of your deck. It's a free card. Mana, and this is Pilgrimage. That'll get him two more forests. Okay, three mana for Naya. So, Sylvan Advocate. No, he hardcasts Den Protector. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, you know, Den Protector is a very good card, and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be in the deck, but honestly, why not throw it down for the Morph Cost? Since, do you even have anything that you can play for one mana? And the power is exactly the same. You know, the Morph is a 2 2, Den Protector is a 2 1. And since you probably didn't have another thing to play, you get the benefit of the morph ability when you have a target. And he is running tra Traverse the Ulvenwald. I mean, it's, it's just a little thing, but, you know, why not in that situation? So, Ramp is up to 7 mana already, so next turn he can throw down Worldbreaker. He's got 5 cards in his hand, he'll have 6 on his turn. And there's Nahiri again. So, plus 2, and discards another Nahiri. It's an interesting choice. And Den Protector attacks in for 2, so Ramp is down to 18. Not a very aggressive start from Naya. 8 mana for Ramp. So there are some quite a few options available to him. He's going to throw down Worldbreaker. Dragonlord Atarka. So one damage here, four damage to Nahiri. That'll clear the board, put Nahiri on two, and leave him with an 8-8 eight, eight Flying Trample. Plus two on Nahiri. Discards Fiery Temper. does have to pain for his red mana here if he wants to play Fiery Temper. He 
does. Going for the face. The ramp's down to 15. And Naya is on two cards. And nothing else. Now the question here is, with Dragonlord Atarka, I mean, if you attack the face, you knock him down to 10, but then you leave him wide open for Nahiri to exile it. So you have to kill Nahiri in this situation. And he's going for it. Kills off Nahiri. And it also limits his uh, possible extra card draw. Because uh, that's your advantage right now, is that you have... Well, he had five cards in his hand versus two. And you have a lot of mana. Ravenwald Hydra. Six mana for a reach. Power and toughness equal to the land you control. And when it comes into play, search your library for a land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped and shuffle your library. And you notice that doesn't say a basic land or any specific land type. It's just land. So you could go and grab any land that you wanted. Like Sanctum of Ugin. And now he has a 10-10 reach. And Naya concedes. He was in a pretty bad spot there. That was going to be 18 power attacking him next turn. Uh, not counting whatever ramp was going to throw down next turn. And all he had was three cards to try and stop it with. But this video has gone on for 12 minutes now, so I'm going to end it here. That was uh, Naya Aggro versus Mono Green Ramp. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.